You are joining us live for the fight of the century. Tonight we're going to settle the age-old question. Are monocrystalline or polycrystalline solar panels better? In the black corner weighing in at roughly 20 kilograms, it's the monocrystalline solar panel. And in the blue corner, oh that's right, I forgot polycrystalline panels aren't being made anymore. I'm Josh. I'm Charlie. And we're here today to discuss the most important differences between monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels and see how many times we can say monocrystalline and polycrystalline. And by God, are we going to try? We'll be exploring which panel is the most efficient, the most powerful, looks better and lasts longer. And which panel is the worst in every way and is not in production anymore. We are Sunsave. We offer the UK's first solar subscription, which means you can switch to solar with no upfront costs and instead make fixed monthly payments. If you want to learn more about that, skip ahead in the video or stick around and find out. Well, Josh, the fight is over and black monocrystalline solar panels are undoubtedly victorious, but why? Well, Charlie, let's start with their efficiency Oh, ah, yes, efficiency. The percentage of daylight a solar panel can turn into electricity. Yep, that's right. Um, so, monocrystalline panels are usually around 20 to 25 percent efficient, whereas polycrystalline panels are, at best, 18 to 21 percent efficient. That is a pretty big difference. Why is that? Monocrystalline panels are made from one silicon crystal ingot, which allows them to absorb more light and transfer it more effectively. Is that why they're black? Yes, exactly. They appear to be black because they absorb between 90 and 95% of light. What do you mean appear to be black? Charlie, we can't do this right now. And what about polycrystalline solar panels? Well, they're made from multiple silicon crystals. Ah, hence poly, polymath, polygon, polytheism. Exactly. This creates grain boundaries though, so some of the light is scattered before it's absorbed, hence the panel's blue colour. What happens to all the light? It's gone, Charlie. I'm so sorry. Like and subscribe. Like and, like subscribe. and subscribe. Your solar panel system's efficiency is obviously important as it allows you to maximise your roof space. However, are monocrystalline panels also more powerful than polycrystalline panels? Uh, yes, they are, yes. Oh, well, moving on Well, then. there's more. Uh, monocrystalline solar panels can reach power ratings upwards of 500 watts in residential settings, but in commercial settings can even exceed 600 watts, 700 watts. Amazing. So how do polycrystalline panels compare? Polycrystalline solar panels rarely exceed 400 watts power rating, let alone 500 watts, which makes them about 20% less powerful than monocrystalline solar panels. How come monocrystalline solar panels are so much more powerful than their polycrystalline counterparts? Well, the main reason for this is efficiency. We've already discussed that monocrystalline solar panels are more efficient than polycrystalline, and that matters. Even though efficiency and power are different metrics for measuring a solar panel's quality, they are related. So if you have a monocrystalline solar panel that's exactly the same size as a polycrystalline solar panel and put them in the same conditions, the monocrystalline solar panel is going to produce a lot more electricity from the same quantity of daylight. Brilliant, so solar homes can maximise their roof space. They sure can. What's the second reason? Because they're better in every way that matters. Manufacturers in recent years have basically focused all their energy and smart people on developing monocrystalline solar panels, meaning they come with all the latest cutting edge tech. Long live the era of monocrystalline dominance. Speaking of which, how long do monocrystalline solar panels usually last? Usually around 30 to 40 years. And let me guess, that's longer than the lifespan of a polycrystalline solar panel. Right you are. Polycrystalline panels usually last about 25 to 30 years. And why should people at home give up monkeys? You can miss out on between 5 and 15 years of the savings and earnings that come with having a solar panel system. Which could add up to thousands of pounds. It sure could. So why are polycrystalline solar panel lifespans so much shorter? Well, it's that poly aspect again. Every time electrons flow between silicon crystals, over the grain boundaries, they use more energy than they do in monocrystalline panels where they can flow more easily. I see, and that additional energy usage is what wears down the polycrystalline solar panel's lifespan. Yes, exactly. Because they have to perform that manoeuvre countless times over the decades, it eventually causes wear and tear. It's extra effort for the same result, like running the 100 metre race versus the 100 metre hurdles. Yes, exactly. Or walking on a wooden floor versus walking through sand. Totally. Or climbing Stop. down... Stop! It's time to talk about our solar subscription, which only uses top tier monocrystalline panels. Sunsafe Plus is the UK's first solar subscription and it is designed to unlock solar for millions of households in the UK. With Sunsafe Plus, you can switch to solar with no upfront cost. All you have to do is pay a fixed monthly fee for 20 years. And it does stay absolutely fixed. No sneaky price rises, so you are fully protected against inflation from energy bills. 
you will immediately start saving on your energy bills and you will also earn income for exporting excess electricity to the grid. And these combined savings could exceed your monthly payment to Sunsave, which means you actually earn money each year despite paying a subscription. This means you don't have to wait years for payback, which is what most people have to do when they buy solar upfront. Your best in class solar and battery system will also be protected by the Sunsave guarantee which provides total peace of mind that your system will produce clean green electricity for the duration of your subscription without you having to raise a finger. The Sunsafe guarantee includes free replacement parts, including a battery and inverter, 24 seven monitoring and maintenance, comprehensive insurance provided by Aviva and downtime cover. Sunsafe Plus is built to be flexible, so you're in charge of your subscription. Therefore, you can make a full or partial early repayment at any point without incurring any fees, charges or penalties. You also legally own your system from day one, which means that you will earn 100% of the export income. We don't take a cut. Sunsafe Plus also doesn't require a roof lease or airspace lease, which have historically caused problems with mortgage providers in the past. To learn more about Sunsafe Plus, head to our website, sunsafe.energy. There you can read way more about a subscription, watch interviews with people who already have it and sign up yourself. Charlie, what's the next big difference between monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels? The most obvious distinction there is aesthetics. Monocrystalline solar panels are black, sleek, and they blend in pretty well with most UK rooftops. Delightful. Yeah, and some manufacturers have even removed the silver grid lines on monocrystalline solar panels, which gives them an all black appearance, like having loads of flat screen TVs all over your roof, which for some people is pretty cool. Okay, what about polycrystalline panels? Well, they're blue, need I say any more. Uh, they stand out more, they grab people's attention, and generally are just considered worse looking. Right, instead of black, which goes with everything. You know it. Let's keep the reasons coming, Josh. What else sets monocrystalline panels apart from their polycrystalline cousins? Well, whereas the monocrystalline family is still growing, the polycrystalline kids have already grown up, settled down, got jobs, and many of them have retired. Mm, what? <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is that whereas monocrystalline panels are still being produced and shipped by the boatload, polycrystalline production has dropped to 0% according to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Whoa, when did that happen? Well, between 2018 and 2021, polycrystalline panels sales went from a whopping 50% to 0% and they haven't budged since. Does that mean everyone just uses monocrystalline soda panels then? Pretty much. 98% of all sales are monocrystalline, up from just 35% in 2015. Wowzers. Wait, what's the other 2%? Thin film. These light, flexible panels are less efficient and powerful than the other types of panels we've mentioned, but they're great if you want to generate electricity on your motorhome or canal boat. If you have a motorhome or a canal boat and you want to learn more about bendy thin film panels, check out the link in the description to our full guide on thin film panels. And if you want to learn all about the other types of solar panels, check out our guide that's also in the link below in the video description. So an overwhelming victory for monocrystalline solar panels over their polycrystalline rivals then? Yep. This no-show from polycrystalline shows how far its star has fallen and how incredibly popular monocrystalline is now. And that must be because monocrystalline solar panels are more efficient, more powerful, last longer and look better. They sure do. If you'd like to read our guides to monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels, click the links in the video description. And if you're generally a big fan of reading and learning, head to the video description and click the link to our Solar Advice Hub, which is full of guides you can read and learn from. And you can also sign up for Sunsafe Plus, our solar subscription, the UK's very first, which means you can switch to solar with no upfront cost. Yes. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. For a never ending stream. Cheerio! <laughs>